Road number 1369. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have grown up in the town of Hooksett, attending Hooksett schools from first grade at Underhill School all the way through eighth grade at the old Hooksett Memorial School. I remain in contact with several of my old Hooksett teachers as I now have become an educator in another local district. The relationships I have established with my former teachers have helped me to become an effective educator and member of society. The education I received in Hooksett is invaluable, and I am so thankful that the school system has retained their high expectation of academic excellence. It is these relationships that are developed between students and teachers, as well as members of administration, that children remember and cherish for many years. The students of Hooksett today are still developing these relationships that will impact their future. I know of one relationship that stands out for many that most students and parents alike will have a hard time forgetting. This is a relationship they developed with their school resource officer, SRO J. Defina. My brother, SRO J. Defina, was the school resource officer in Hooksett for the 2008-2009 school year. Even though he has been out of his SRO position for a significant length of time, he is still noticed and approached almost on a daily basis within the town of Hooksett and its surrounding towns. SRO Defina has built a relationship with the students of Hooksett and made a positive impact on their outlook of law enforcement, evident by the approachability and eagerness for conversation that I have witnessed him encounter with numerous students of Hooksett, both past and present. No other member of the Hooksett Police Department has developed the meaningful relationships with those of Hooksett that I have seen with my brother, which is evidence that he cares about and will fight for the town of Hooksett. This is something the citizens of Hooksett are seeking, something they need. They need someone who cares, and it couldn't be more obvious that Jay does. 55 shifts, roughly 480 hours. This is the amount of time that my brother has been back to work since his reinstatement on September 28, 2010. This is the amount of time that Officer Defina has been back on patrol, and this is the amount of time that has gone by with no change. The Hooksett Police Department command staff, the same command staff that stripped my brother of his career 504 days ago, is still in place, and no measures have been taken to investigate the events leading up to and including his termination. It baffles me that after the extremely controversial and publicized event of my brother being wrongfully terminated, that upon his reinstatement, no safeguards or measures were taken to protect his rights and safety upon returning to the same building and the same authority that caused him such anguish and pain. I have seen firsthand the effects of this corrupt hooks at police department. And the effects that this corrupt hooks at police department has had on my brother's health, both physically and mentally. He amazes me every day with his perseverance and inner strength because I cannot personally imagine going through the things that he has had to endure. To devote your life to your career, to invest everything you have at the cost of your health and well-being, only to have it stripped out from under you, and watching as those responsible have no consequences. The intentional targeting and implicit lies that Mr. Stephen Graffiotis has not had to answer for is embarrassing. It is embarrassing for the town of Hooksett and those in positions of authority within the town. He is one man, and he has committed corrupt acts that need to be accounted for. The fact that he remains in his position as the Hooksett Police Chief and has not had to answer for his transgressions is a disgrace to the citizens of Hooksett who support his position financially as taxpayers and to the employees of the Hooksett Police Department who are being denied a leader of integrity in a safe working environment. It has been said publicly by previous patrolmen of the Hooksett Police Department that this happened to Jay, but it could have happened to anyone. Who will be next? As long as Mr. Graffiotis has a badge and a desk in the Hooksett Police Department, his reign of corruption is not over, my brother will continue to fight to bring this man to justice. As much as I've seen Jay go through, and as amazed as I am that he is still in the fight for truth, I have not a shadow of a doubt that my brother, Officer Dubina, will stand strong against the corruption and injustice that he has seen and experienced, and he will see to the very end of this long and excruciating battle for exposure of Mr. Stephen Graffiotis' lies and deceit. How long will Mr. Stephen Agrafiotis remain in a position of authority in Hooksett before someone, anyone, steps up to their moral obligation to investigate his corruption and find the truth hidden behind his lies? I will leave you with this quote by Edmund Burke. All that is necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. What will you do? Thank you.